Alrighty guys, I got quite a special one for you today. It's not this often I get my britches all in a bundle, but this thing is quite unbelievable. We got ourselves a 2006 Beaver Marquee. This is the Jade model, the Jade 4, the quad slide. And let me tell you, I don't think I've seen a nicer coach on our lot. Triple AC, a couple solar panels up top, got a King Dome up there. I mean, honestly, it's going to be a long video just to show you all the awesome features it has, all everything that's electric. Oh boy, hopefully I remember it all. So starting off, it's got a 525 horsepower cat motor with 1,600 foot-pounds of torque. That is insane. Like I said, she's a quad slide, full body paint, of course. Got the nice paint on the inside of the slides too. Beautiful electric step door locks awning i cannot my battery died for the awning control for the main body awning it's a nice gerard that just comes out straight i gotta get that replaced but i'm still gonna show you this whole dang coach of course you got massive 22 and a half inch tires to be exact 295 80 r225s oh man i'm excited all right let's take a peek first compartment here nice big pass through no tray or anything but a full-on pass through side latch doors too which is a plus now you got a tray here an outdoor entertainment center look at this tray this thing is so cool so electrically comes out both ways if we get down you'll see it go out the other way too and we'll let that out so you can see it when we go over there oh i love it now you have an outdoor entertainment center here i was honestly pretty surprised there's no tv and then i'm just looking around I saw this. Let's investigate. So you just push it out. And like I said, it's electric, so it's not as fast as doing it manually, but look how cool this is. Now, of course, we're in 06. It's not going to be a 50 inch plasma or anything crazy like that, but <laughs> they made great work with what they had at the time. Next compartment here fuel fill. Now, I don't know if you can see, but that goes all the way to the other side and so does the propane tank it is absolutely insane 150 gallons both side fuel fill unbelievable next compartment of course another pass through it's got the ladder extension on there for you you need to go up and service those panels or cock around some vents you do have the full-on aqua hot system that's where you can see that tank there and service it if need be a couple other water tanks there Kind of more of a service compartment, but still great that it's accessible. Now, of course, this is a tag axle. Two tires there on each side, and then one tire in the back on each side. Next up, your battery compartment. Two big old high deep cycle batteries. Down below, you got your chassis batteries. And then, next up, we got even more batteries, I know nice lifelines and everything is on a tray so if you need to pull them out or service them it is actually pretty easy to access now from the back I got everything open we'll shut it and check it all out got to mention your beautiful electric window awnings took me a while to just find where the button was for those got a 10,000 pound hitch on here you can see it is obviously a side radiator so you got a little bit more access to couple belts wires whatever you need to so nice big access bay here my gosh that's incredibly hard to push with one hand all right next up can't see much because we're nice and tied up against another coach here but see your slide topper there your window awning connected on both slides i couldn't put that second one out all the way but not a problem here's your side radiator and of course this does come with the classic beaver mud flap no compartments with the side radiator and then you got these two lift up compartment doors kind of like you see on like a greyhound bus or something is the other side of that compartment but what's really cool is this is kind of your overall dump station cleaning station winterization and whatever it is you can see down here below got your flushes sanitization flush your uh, fresh tank full, fill water pump and this is your water hose retract and you also got the same thing for the power cord fresh tank great tank and you actually just push the button to dump them instead of just pulling a valve really really cool 
God, I love those compartment doors. Like I said, full pass through. I think I didn't say, but you got an inverter right there. Next up, this is the other side of that fuel fill. So that 150 gallon tank, and then you got the fill for the actual propane there. I'm not positive on the size, but we'll double check when we jump inside. And it doesn't look like it has the quick disconnect for like a grill or something. Now here's the other side of that tray. Like I said, with the push of a button, she came out. Such a cool feature. Other side of that other pass through. Nice big tires, and we're getting up front. Got your main, mainly your electrical bay. Now what's cool is you do have the gen in and out, so it is electric to get the generator in and out. And look at this, 12.5, 12, 12,000 kilowatt generator. 11.65 hours on it, which really is, is not that bad. Let me see. Kind of show you how it goes, and I won't be able to show you exactly, but like I said, push of a button, that's all it takes. Awesome. Two, and we're there. All right. Give you another quick peek at her. Look at the size of that window in that slide. That is so cool. Got your big old air horns up top. Scare the living bejesus out of anyone. All right, let's jump inside. Got your nice upgraded two electric steps that come out. Now you got an electric keypad too. And look at that, you got that orange button above with the beaver symbol. I wasn't sure what it was. Oh my gosh, it's a doorbell. So cool. So you do have an electric step cover right here. We'll hit that right out the gate. And it's a little aggressive. <laughs> Make sure your feet are out of the way, but it's there, it works. It's just a little loud. Now we're gonna shut this door behind me. And give you a quick peek. The overall quality, the woodworking, the detailing, the ceilings. I mean, this thing is honestly incredible. I have so much to show you, I don't even know where to start. All right, let's start over here. Leveling system, e-brake. All types of your air dump, rear camera wash, which is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> you have a rear camera wash. Mirror select, you change your mirrors, of course. A little power control here. Allison electronic shifter. This is a 4000 series shifter or uh, transmission from Allison. So always nice. Now what's cool about this, I mean, you got just about everything. You got battery boost, you got your fans, generator. You can adjust your pedals in and out, the push of a button. This thing has 47,000 miles, really not that high of miles at all. And your control here is controlled with this little guy down here. And you can kind of, it's probably hard to see on the screen, but you can check all your tank levels, your trip, the electrical systems. I mean, it's quite extensive. What's really cool about this coach is it has a very high zoot cruise control. Now what I mean is you can actually set it to a speed and you can set a follow distance. So the moment you start getting closer to another vehicle in front of you, it'll automatically slow down but still continue to keep your cruise. Now of course, you do have side cameras, you do have a backup camera. I mean, it's got all that standard stuff. Your wheel will tilt, telescope, whatever you want it to do. Got dash AC right here. We'll pull out drawer right there. Now next thing I wanna show you, look. Look at the side of the seats. I mean, there is so much going on, it's not even funny. I'm gonna show you the other side, passenger, because your first one is a leg rest. Really cool. I guess we'll let it go out all the way. Next one is lumbar. You can't really see that on the video, but it has it. Now, check this out. The third one, I might get a better hold on this camera. The third one is a headrest lift. I mean, I'm not tall, so I'd never use it, but it's cool. And then your fourth one here, just to angle the uh, seat back and forward. Now, of course, you got a six-way control here too, so you can angle the butt uh, in the front of the seat, up and down, forward and back. Pretty dang sure that's a <laughs> heated seat. And of course, a slider to turn her around. So, I mean, <laughs> quite, in, quite incredible on the seat. Both the seats are the exact same, except the passenger does have that leg kick out, unlike the driver, which makes sense. That'd be a pretty scary on the highway. 
So uh, map light right above us. And then you got, you know, of course the same closing step, slightly aggressive visor and individual AC controls over here, which is really cool. So if the driver's driving, they don't want to adjust it or have to take your, you know, eyes off the road. Boom, have a passenger do it. Now, you also have a ceiling light button here. And what do you got? Your porch light, ceiling light, handle lights, coach power, entry step. The ceiling light, you can press it once and everything turns off. Press it again, everything turns on. You hold it, it dims the lights. I mean, that's unbelievable. So really cool right there. Now, another great feature about this coach, this TV, this, I mean, for an 06, this Sharp Aquas, this was an expensive little bugger back then. This thing lifts up and then you can see kind of the hole it goes into. Got to replace the motor on it so it's not going to lift up. So I can't show you the three compartments behind the TV, but that's all right because they're literally just compartments, nothing else. Now, right up above the driver's side, small little compartment, couple CDs, changer over on the right side. That's your door awning control, inverter control, and uh, satellite control. And then right over here, DVD, CD players, and check it out, the VHS player. Now this is one of those coaches that has these nice little touch panels here. And trust me, we'll get there. There's a lot to learn about them. You do have, I know it's a little weird, you got a couple manual shades in here. That's one, you got one right there, you got one in the bedroom, and one right there. Other than that, that's literally it. All right, I think, I think that's about done up front. Let's just move on back to this beautiful galley. Now, first off, so shades are all open, but over here, privacy curtain, electric also. You can get that bad boy wrapped all the way around. <laughs> you get the gist. It's going to get really dark in here. <laughs> we'll bring her back open, but electric don't have to even worry about drapes wrapping it around or any side shades like that i love it all right should be good now like i said quad slide one slide right here for the couch in the kitchen one slide right here for the dinette and the little desk and just take a look at the woodworking even on the ceiling you have an led strip up here that lights up i can't I've been in this thing for an hour and I can't seem to find a dang control for it. So it does light up. I don't know how. Pull out couch there, dinette there, two chairs. You got two more in the back, which is kind of nice. Nice little recliner here with some controls right there. I'm telling you, the controls are everywhere. A couple pull out drawers. <laughs> your, your remote drawer. Nice storage under there. And you got that nice embroidery in the carpet and just a beautiful ceramic tile floor. I mean, this thing is heavy. I don't, where's the weight tag? Let's see, 48,160 gross vehicle weight rating. That's crazy, but that's awesome. All right. So. Let's see, TV lift controls here, slide controls right above. But over here you got all shades closed, all shades open. So you can click all shades closed and it just closes them with a the push of a button. And you can see that happening on each side. Really cool. We're gonna open those bad boys back up. Now over here, it's a three AC unit. <laughs> I know, kind of crazy. Now, more TV lift. Now you got the Romans, and then you have the individual shades. So let me show you the shade. Oh, wait. Huh, I wonder if that control's just not working. Let's go look at the other one. So you can individually close the shades or the Roman shades. Now, if you look here in a second, you'll see the actual other shade here. I guess you can call it your daytime shade come down under the Roman. And there it is. And they're all electric. It honestly blows my mind. 
everything in this coach is real wood and it's god it's unbelievable it's so nice it's heavy it's not particle board it's not that cheap stuff you get so often nowadays now this specific coach was a single owner which really blows my mind i mean he had it for god, what 14 years now kept it in a heated garage we literally didn't have to do anything to get this up to our lot now you do have little compartment drawers all down there and power outlets I'm not gonna get all into it i'll show you one but they're all about the same depth and that same corian throughout everywhere now up above got a couple drawers and there's two separate bose surround sound systems in here and you'll see bose speakers all over the place check this out Put your nice expensive alcohol up there or maybe you could put it across from us in the nice glass area now of course you could take those out put whatever you want in there but it's beautiful with what it is now above the couch on the passenger slide nice little top compartments and i'm telling you each individual door you pull it's just it's unbelievable it feels like it's a little heavy like it shouldn't be like that you just know you got yourself a nice quality coach. Alrighty, under the sink here, you got a water, a hot water dispenser, all your plumbing lines, and you can see on the right side, you can store your Corian covers, which is really cool, because there's a lot of them. Now, of course, your sink right here, nice big Corian cover with your instant hot water and a soap dispenser. And then on the other side, you got another smaller little sink, not as deep these as much as I can with one hand another water dispenser and of course an extended faucet now this is really cool your nice china your crystal on display at all times and it has its own individual light for it too which is kind of cool to the right of that and these are I don't know if you notice they're pushed to open and close which is really cool exterior paint information now like I said coring with the lip I love having the lip in here it does I mean prevent a little bit from sliding off but and then you got a real backsplash back there I'm sure you'd expect it but still now once again I'll get over all this paperwork in a second I'll go slow so you can maybe read it fans lights aqua hot preheat diesel nice long drawer and then on the right side what is this another nice long drawer but check this out you got the built-in dishwasher you really can't even tell i mean if you've seen one of these before you know that's what the control looks like but other than that it's almost just hidden and also Got a little compartment there too. I had no idea until I just looked at it one day. Now to the right, got a pantry and that'll actually come out on the other side and slide out. Good amount of pantry space and what's cool is you don't even have to slide it out to access it. Over here, of course, you got a convection microwave. There is no oven. It's got a washer dryer, or a washer dryer, a dishwasher instead. I'll show you the stove top here in a second, but let me show you. I'm gonna try to slowly go over these. In case you wanna read some of the features, you can pause the video. See our price is quite aggressive, 125, right at that low retail price on here. Let's move this so you can not see without a bl glare, 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 something. See if I can keep my shakes to a minimum. Now, if I'm going too fast or if I'm too shaky, let me know. I'll definitely get you any info you gotta have. Tried to highlight some of the important stuff. There's plenty more that is much more important, but. I 
All right. So now, let's look at the old stove top. You got two massive covers here. It is surprisingly enough just a two burner, but it's incredible the amount of room you have and they're bigger burners it looks like. But the counter space you get with those covers, it's quite immaculate. No leaves or anything, but you'll see, you know, extra little counter space just all over the place. Now your fridge, it is a Whirlpool fridge. It's got water and ice in the door. It's a raised panel fridge with that same woodworking. I mean, it's just so beautiful. Little lock up here, zinc. Freezer. And of course on the other side, you got the refrigerator portion. Quite a nice fridge. Pretty sure it's nicer than the one I just bought from my house. Oh, what do we got here? Let's see if I can figure out how to open these. There we go. I mean, I'm a shorty. I can barely even see up here, but you got some storage up there too. And what's cool, I haven't even shown you, but the detailing on the ceiling, this is your one actual AC vent you can see. The other two are hidden under the detailing. Oh, there we go. I also did want to show you the bedroom first. Let's shut that I love this door. All right. Hey, you jerk. All right, so in your bathroom, pretty good amount. It is, of course, a split bath. You got a fantastic fan right there. LEDs throughout. Storage space right there. Like I said, that same surface throughout. Where is this one open? Oh, on the other side. I'll learn it eventually. Don't judge me. And then you got even more controls. It's hard to see what they say. What do they say? Water pump, vent fan, and then bathroom ceiling lights. This shower, it's a one piece. And I normally I say fiberglass, but it's not fiberglass. This thing is beautiful. And you got the little lifter here for the shower head, the nice detailing and embroidered into it. And me personally, I am I'm five nine. I know, I'm not that tall. You could be a big old son of a gun and still fit in here just fine. Just a beautiful fridge. A fridge, my gosh, I'm having trouble speaking today. Shower. Now it looks like you'd have, you know, a panel there or a door or something, it's not, it's just your bathroom door, but you do have another pocket door right here. And check that out, a full on mirror. Don't look too long, you don't wanna see me in my ugly mug. And these actually lock in place too. Boom, now it's not gonna fly around all over the place. Oh, I just love the woodwork. You know, it may not be everybody's personal preference in color, but once you felt the actual wood, you'll know. You'll know what I'm talking about. Same countertop, same backsplash, nice little medicine cabinet. And that's a soap dispenser. Not very common in your RVs. Now below, a couple drawers. Oh, hey, must be for that towel hanger right there. So we got a small little door there. And then a little bit of storage, but they must have not liked this soap dispenser. <laughs> Korean toilet, of course, or China toilet. Add water, flush. Even more electrical. All right. Now, I mean, I know I tried to keep it open, but man, you can lock it from the other side. Look at this little door. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, we'll shut that for now and keep her in place. In the bedroom, let me tell you about this bedroom. It's massive. It's almost as big as my master at home. I guess I'm not complaining, but when you're paying 600 grand for an RV brand new, you better expect a lot. So what's kind of cool, vanity in the bathroom, some people like it, some don't, but it's an additional to the one in the actual toilet room, which is cool. Now, once again, light controls, water pumps all over the place. You got drawers just left and right. Little floor lights all over the place. I gotta figure out what side to open up all the dang cabinets. Now it is pretty dark in here. 
It is pretty dark in here. It's because I, I do have the majority of the shades closed and it is darker wood. But I'll get those open and show you here in a second. All right. So that's a vanity in the bathroom. Let me open up this Roman shade here. Let's see. Do both the Roman and the shade at the same time. And you can see it's still a little dark because I got my window awning extended. Six drawers. Oh, wow. I, good thing I can count. Two, four, six, eight drawers. <laughs> what a knucklehead. And they're all, they're all about the same depth, same size. Of course, you got your TV right above. Down below, you got your, once again, your Bose surround sound system. And gotta have it. Nice VHS play. Of course, to the right, even more tile besides the carpet. A combo splendid washer dryer unit. Gotta replace the handle here, but. And above that. Just storage. Lots of storage. Your bed is, of course, a king bed. It's absolutely massive. It's pretty tall up there, too. They have a, a nice little riser on it. Of course, most people end up replacing the mattress, but once again, that same kind of door in the closet with a automatic light turn on. You'll see you got an engine access bay, all your paperwork. Get a good angle on this see all your weights two extra chairs for the dinette and then you got a little leaf there for honestly i'm not even sure at this point there's just so much to know <laughs> now walking back over here you have an additional big old mirror four more drawers i don't know where i even got six all the same size same depth that same countertop throughout roman shades the controls for that God, don't even ask me i'm not oh here we go uh yeah 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 so you can close them all with the push of a button or you can actually open them all with the push of a button too which is nice and there's a control up front to do that you got a couple little reading lights nice little headboard that is the other like i said manual window for your shades not a big deal but I had to point it out now above the bed you got this storage there's three of them they're all connected goes pretty deep in there and then to the right of that you actually got two more let's see are they not connected once again that unbelievably beautiful detailing in here once again led strip right above can't seem to find the switch for it you also got the ac bin up there so let's recap 2006 beaver marquee jade 4 Got a 525 horsepower cat motor, 1600, I think it's like 1680 foot pounds of torque. Quad slide, Allison MH4000 series. Unbelievable woodwork, single owner, garage kept. Everything's electric. That's just, let's shut this really quick, give you a good look. So we'll let that go in with the push of a button. Let me tell you, it's been a treat shooting a video of this thing. It's not too, I'm, I'm on the used lot. It's not too often I get stuff that is really this clean right out the gate. And I'm just ecstatic to have this. And there we go. Now, of course, gotta go put these awnings in too, but take a second, appreciate the quality, the look, the feel. If you have any questions or if you know how to open that on you know the controls comment down below and let me know probably just a little dumb it happens rb salesman all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video i know it got quite long but we had a lot to look at have a great day and like i said if you got any questions comment down low down below bye, -bye.